Today we're going to do a test run of our labeler, the 510. This is the example we have. This is where we want to place the sticker right there in the address field. Um, we don't have the exact table size now and uh, we did not get any sample labels from our potential customer. So these are the labels we're going to use right now. Uh, test runs work very fine. Please start the machine. We start the labeling part in the conveyor belt in this order. As you can see, it takes less than a second to apply one label. We have a quite uh, high speed now adjusted for the machine. As it shows, normally I would recommend around 4,000 pieces per hour because you still have to make sure that there's a gap between the products. With this setup right now, you're looking at around maybe 5,000 pieces per hour. Lass mal ein paar rausfahren, bitte. Please just let some, some drop. As you can see now, they will fall on the table right on top of each other. Um, but normally we recommend to use a slide to just drop them into a carton on top of each other. All right? Because otherwise this will happen. They will, will fold over um, and probably you want to keep them all in the same position. Okay, this was the first test run. Please show the products into the camera so we can see the accuracy of the products. Oh, this one is upside down here, yeah. like we showed before, right? It's actually positioning is perfect, okay? Please, let me, let me just take some. So we wanted to have them right on the edge here. And that's exactly where we got them. All right. Right here on the edge. The tolerance is around one millimeter in each direction. Okay, this is a little bit overlapping, but I think it's well within the tolerance. Like I said, one millimeter in each direction is roughly the tolerance we got. Okay. Okay, now these are the ones with the uh, how many papers inside? I think one. One, yes. We're gonna do now a test run with the other samples we have. 